In this video, we'll draw the Lewis structure for Ba2+. This is the barium ion. Before we do that, let's talk about just barium. So in the periodic table, barium has a total of 56 electrons, and we can organize them into energy levels just like this. So you can see all the electrons here around the nucleus, and on the outside, we have two valence electrons, and those are available for chemical bonding. You might also note that barium's in group two on the periodic table, and all of those have two valence electrons in their highest energy level. We're interested, however, in barium two plus, the barium ion. So if we wanted to write a Lewis structure for just barium, we put two valence electrons right next to the element symbol Ba, and that would be a good Lewis structure. Note that because these electrons are all in this energy level, it's called the S energy level, I put the electrons together on the Lewis structure. Sometimes you'll see people put them like this. That's okay too. So here's our barium Lewis structure, but we're interested in barium 2 plus. So when barium forms a chemical bond and it becomes an ion, the 2 plus ion, it loses these electrons. Electrons are negative, it loses two of them, and now it has a 2 plus. So we should get rid of these here in our Bohr diagram as well. And now this energy level here is empty. And this is the Lewis structure for Ba2+, the barium ion. We should put brackets around it, though, to show that it's an ion. So do note that while we don't have any valence electrons here in our Lewis structure shown, there is a full shell here underneath the shell that we removed. But by convention, we don't write that shell there. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for Ba2+, the barium ion, and thanks for watching.